Here is the driver circuit, the TL494. Now I have done a video on this before and I'll put a link to that video in the show more of this video. A few things I want to point out is in the upper left hand corner is the 50k ohm resistor. When we vary that, that's going to vary the duty cycle of the output of this chip, which is pins 11 and 8. As you can see, I have added some transistors. That output goes to the input of the transistors. And this is a pulse amplifier. And we get an amplified output from those transistors. That output goes to here. This is the output of the entire circuit. And their MOSFETs, they happen to be IRF510s. And here is the complete build. All the way to the left, the 50k ohm resistor. Then to the right of that, we've got the TL494. And then the transistors. And then the MOSFETs. And then our output transformer. Let's take a look and see what those pulses look like that are coming out of those transistors. Here's the pulses that are coming out of the collector of the transistors 2N2222 and now I'm going to rotate that 50k ohm resistor and you can see that the pulse width is becoming more narrow. I won't go any farther there. So these are the pulses we're going to be using. Looking at the circuit here, let's see what the pulses do in this circuit, how it operates. Well, let's take the pulse at the top. We'll say that's the first one. And the pulse is on the gate of that MOSFET. And basically what happens at that point, that MOSFET turns into a wire. Or very, very low ohms. Well, now looking at the circuit, we can see that the top capacitor is shorted across the primary of the transformer. And also note the polarity. Got negative at the bottom and positive at the top. So the top capacitor is discharging through the primary and in this direction with this polarity. But that's not all that happens here. Take a look at the bottom capacitor. It is actually now charging through the primary. But notice the polarity. It's the same polarity up through the top MOSFET. So we get a double kick here. Both capacitors contribute to the current flow through the primary. That's a pretty interesting circuit. Okay, let's take a look at the bottom MOSFET when a pulse comes in for it. It also turns into a wire, and now you can see 
that the bottom capacitor is now discharging through the primary of the transformer. But note its polarity. It is just the opposite. We've got negative on the top and positive on the bottom. We now have AC, alternating current. And now the top capacitor is charging. Starts at the negative at the bottom, goes up through the coil in the same direction. Again, we get a double kick as the top capacitor charges. So again, both capacitors are contributing electrons or current flow through the primary of the transformer. I have the scope set up and we're still looking at the gate of the bottom MOSFET so we can see the pulses coming in. But this time I've moved the yellow or channel 1 to the output of the transformer. So we can take a look at what happens when I vary the pulse width. Okay, we've kept the blue probe on the bottom transistor pulses, but the yellow is now on the output of the transformer. Now I'm going to rotate the 50k ohm resistor, and let's see what happens here. AC outputs is becoming less. To practically nothing right there. I think this is a very interesting circuit, and thanks for watching.